Hello and welcome to a brand new English PPT bomb game. So let's get straight into it. And I'm live on camera for the first time. So in this game, there's an introduction video at the beginning. Short clip, I think it's about 20 seconds. And this game has 18 questions. It's slightly smaller than some of the other games that I've made. I actually quite like it because it takes less time to actually make a game. And it's a really great game. It's got lots of great music, uh, lots of great animation slides in it. And um, well, let's do it. So let's move forwards. Now at the start here, we've got the point system. Um, you can go ahead and explain this with the students. However, I'm going to click on skip as I'll show you how the points work by choosing different questions. So I've written down the questions I'm going to choose. The first one I'm going to choose is question number one. Let's click on this one. As always, it's a template, so please write in your question and your answer. Use the mouse or click on the space bar to move forwards. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so we've got six points here. And just wait for this slide to keep going through. There's just a lot you simply got to know. And then click on the final background here. Clicking on the final background here will take me over to the uh, points counter slide. So if this was team one, put in some points, one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, click on this character here. I believe her name is Mirabelle. I had to watch the movie to try and learn about this, um, this whole thing so I can make it. But anyway, click on Mirabelle. That would take you back to the uh, main question slide. And now number one has disappeared. Next one I'm gonna choose, I think is number three. So question and answer. And this time we've got the choice slide. So there's some music that plays in the choice slide around 11 or 12 seconds. So I recommend uh, letting this music finish before choosing. It's only a short time. And uh, so number one. Okay, so number one here, we've got uh, 10 points on number one. Um, let's choose number two next. Number two is the bomb. We'll see the bomb again soon, actually. And uh, number three. So for the choice slide, just click on the Disney Encanto logo. That's where the hand is going to come up for the link. Click on that one there. And we got uh, Bruno. We've changed points. <sighs> Let's not talk about Bruno. And number four here. We got another song, The Flower Girl. She's worth 10 points. OK, so lots of cool music there. So all I need to do now is click on the background. That would take me to the points counter slide. So for example, if we were using this, uh, maybe 10 points, for example, 10 points there. Click on Mirabelle, who's in the middle. That would take you back to the main question slide. Next one I'm gonna choose is actually question number 10. Question and answer, move forwards. Ooh. Actually, this is a really beautiful slide here. And this is where the magic of the house comes back to life. And this one is going to be worth, have you guessed it, it's 10 points. So 10 points if you get this one. Uh, you can click on the writing of the 10 points. That will take you back to, not back, it will take you to the points counter. There's some more music here at the end. Uh, just click on the background of the picture at the end or click on the text of the 10 points. And then again, put in your points. So if this was team three, they've got 10 points. Uh, let me click on Mirabelle and go back to the main question slide. Next one I'm going to choose is question 14. It's going to be a fun one. So question and uh, answer. As always, it's a template, so you probably know what to do. Uh, click on the space bar. Oh, we have Bruno. Bruno's vision changes everything and uh, he's cute I'm not sure what it is it's not a warthog um, anyway this is the change point slide so if the team gets this uh, one they get the change points there's only one change points actually in this game so let's click on the background of that one that will take us back to the uh, points counter putting whatever you want there maybe going to change with uh, I don't know team four 
and they're going to go over to zero maybe. Anyway, click on Mirabelle in the middle to go back to the main points counter. And then um, this last one I'm going to choose now, question number 16. So again, it's question and answer as a template. Uh, you can wait for the music to finish if you want, or push the space bar and go forwards. Don't talk about Bruno. <laughs> Poor old Bruno, he's only worth one point in this game. It's animated GIF here. And um, when we come to the, the end here, just click on the background of the, uh, the image there. And that would take you back to, not back, it would take you to the points counter. I keep saying back to the main question slide. So there you go. Whatever team gets that one, team three, team four, whoever, uh, will get one point. Click on Mirabelle in the middle here. And that will take you back. That will take you back to the main question slide. So that is it. Um, just on the quick notes, this game has a lot of notes. I hope people will spot my notes that I write in the game. Um, please use those as a direction about where the links are, what sounds there are, and different points like that. And I think that's probably about everything. Um, as always, it is a template, so just writing whatever you want inside the template. I have to note that there is no apostrophe in this text, so you will have to use a different uh, font if you need to make apostrophes. And I think that is about everything. Um, I, it is a very big game. It's over 400 megabytes, so I will try and compress it later and uh, offer a smaller version and possibly delete out some of the um, introduction to make a smaller version as well. And also I will um, offer a version with the points counter and without the points counter. So that is about it. We are finished. I hope you enjoy this game. Thanks, greatly thanks for watching. And it's really great to know that kids around the world are having fun with these games. And as always, take care, Jalga, and enjoy your teaching. Bye bye. <laughs>